Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason here, bringing a little something for the people by way of color isolation, or otherwise known as that um, pleasant fill or Sin City effect. And we are going to do it with an Adobe Premiere Pro CC. And here's the original footage, and here's the footage that we're going to end up with. This is gonna be kind of a two-step process, or a two-phase process, I should say, because there is a very simple and easy way to do color isolation with the leave color um, uh, feature, but sometimes you have um, colors that are too similar to what you want to isolate, and you need a workaround, and we're gonna get into that as well. So this should go fairly quick. It's uh, fairly simple to do, and um, I hope you like it. So let's jump right in. Step one to doing this and getting good black and white footage is to make sure that your original footage is color corrected properly. If you don't color correct your, your footage properly, then it's going to look washed out. So let me show you what I mean here. If I take off, I've already done this ahead of time, and if you want to know how to do uh, color correction, I have another video on it, and just click the link below, and you could watch that. But I corrected everything through curves, and if I just take that out. Watch this footage. Oops. Let me do this too real quick. So this is the black and white footage if it wasn't color corrected. And this is, let me go back here, this is the footage without, uh, with color correction. You see the contrast and how much sharper this is? That's what you want is good contrast within black and white footage. All right, so Moving on, what I'm gonna do is delete this because it's kind of a, an advanced step that we'll get into in a minute. Let me get rid of the leave color. All right, so assuming this is all color corrected, go into your effects tab, just type in leave color, drag and drop, or double click, it's up to you. Now, here's the really simple way to do it. Um, you have this leave color option and it's broken down in a couple different categories. So you have a mounted to color, color to leave, um, that's gonna be the red, we're gonna isolate the red here. The tolerance level, the edge softness, it match colors. So we're gonna match colors using RGB or a hue. Most of the time for me, and there's not a hard fast rule here, but most of the time for me using hue is gonna be give you um, more flexibility and more power, and that's what we're gonna be using for this. But I'll show you the difference between the two. So let's go into the use the picker. We're gonna go find the color we want to isolate. I try to find, not the darkest and not the lightest color, I try to find something that's kind of in the middle. And it's about right there. And all you do is go over and amount the decolor. You just crank that up to 100. So what you see here is a little bit of this red here, right? But we still have some black and we need to um, fill all this in, so. What I typically do is crank these down to zero. And I'm gonna show you the RGB first, just so you know what I'm talking about. So I always start off with the edge softness. And let's just kind of crank up the tolerance a little. You see how it's kind of giving us some problems? And by the time I crank it up even more to get more of the red, look what happens, the color pops in. So I'm gonna crank this down to zero again, change to hue. And I'm just gonna start off the edge softness. Watch that, boom, perfect. So, fills that in pretty good, yeah, with only 1%. Sometimes you have to crank it up a little bit higher, sometimes you don't. And that's essentially it, but there is a problem with this footage. Um, if we didn't have competing colors, or, or complementary colors, or similar colors, I, I should say, we um, wouldn't have a problem that's appearing, but you can kinda see here, See the red popping in because of the rooftops way in the back? So we don't want that in there. We, don't, we just want this to show. So how do we get around that? Well, you can do a couple things. One, you can kind of play with, you know, just drop this down to two and bring up the tolerance to one. Again, there's no hard, fast rule here. You just kind of got to play with these two until something happens. But sometimes, um, no matter what combination of the tolerance and edge softness, you use, the uh, similar colors are still going to poke their mangy head in. So let's move to step two to get rid of this. All right, so basically what we're gonna do, I'm just drop that down, 
is create, we're going to use a garbage mat. And I'm going to hit option and uh, then hold it down and drag up my footage just like that. So that creates a duplicate. And what I'm going to do is type in four point garbage mat. You have, um, let me just show you something real quick. If I just type in garbage, you'll see eight point, four point, and 16 point garbage mats. If this is really detailed, I would use a 16 point because it's gonna give you more points to build around this, but this is pretty straightforward. And for the sake of simplicity, it's, uh, we're gonna use a four point. I'm gonna drag and drop over the footage. And so, and then what I'm gonna do is click on that and you'll see up here, these little things here. You just kind of drag around your object. Again, if it was an eight point or a 16 point garbage mat, there would be more points and you can get much more detailed as far as the tr for the tracing. But we want to make this quick and simple, easy to understand. All right. So with that, now that we got that, we want to crank that up. And then this one back here, we're just taking all the tolerance down and edge softness, and there's nothing coming through. And what we have here is all of the reds that were, or the pinks that were poking through are gone. And this is nice and bright and red. And see how we were able to crank that up? You know, it's, so you have a lot more flexibility to really saturate, things like that. That's essentially it. You're gonna use a garbage mat to uh, go around your footage. And um, that's how you isolate all the colors if there are competing colors or, or similar colors in the background. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will respond. And uh, if you have uh, a need for some stock footage or um, want to watch more videos, head on over to my website and leave a comment. If you like this, share it. If you don't like it, share it. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.